How's it going? Welcome to another team of the season. We have our first Super League player, Abubakar, who I was actually really intrigued to try out. Uh, you know, he was a really fun card. Him and Musa Morega back in Porto at the earlier stages of the game. Uh, it was a fun partnership to use. Uh, and yeah, this card looks decent. Uh, it's obviously not the most meta. If you like your more dynamic attacking players like Neymar and Mbappe, uh, you're not going to have a fun time. But if you're like me, you like your stronger, powerful, uh, more hold-up type striker, uh, then it might be a fun card to try out. Now, uh, in terms of market price, he's only 50k. Uh, like I said, it's primarily due to, you know, not being meta, but also the links. Uh, it's really difficult. Your really main focal point will be probably through icons, uh, and then probably through the other, you know, Super League team this season cards. So, uh, yeah, we will, of course, though, uh, get into the stats uh, and start out with the pace. So he's got 85 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, um, so he's fairly quick. You can definitely see some pace, especially considering his size and stature in game. But with the fullback meta at center back and the through ball meta, uh, if you play him through on goal, uh, I mean, you can see here decent amount of pace, but he's not going to be able to consistently break away. So it's definitely going to be an area that you want to address with the chemistry style. And you just kind of have to adapt uh, to play through the way he, you know, his play style is. Um, so I'd probably go with an engine that is probably going to be uh, your best option now in terms of the shooting uh, it's very well rounded he's got 92 finishing and 95 composure so he's a very efficient goal scorer quite clinical inside the area but also outside the area he's also got the 90 long shots and 97 shot power the shot power very notable you can really see uh, the power he's able to produce behind his shots uh, and then the finesse shot trait and 99 curve uh, you can really um you know when you cut in from the left uh, i thought his finesse shots were, were as good as they get um, and then something that might surprise you something I did note uh, from my personal experience I didn't know whether it was the formation I mean you saw the formation I was using I also tried a 4-4-2 so added a little width um, but the 92 positioning I felt like his positioning uh, and his off the ball movement I mean it was horrible right a lot of the times he would I would find him just hugging my winger sometimes he was drifting into a deep lying midfield role which is definitely what I didn't want to see um, so it was really confusing. Most of the time, he just it looked like he didn't know what he was doing. So that is definitely something I addressed with an instruction. You know, stay forward, stay central. Uh, and it was really, really annoying. So that is something I did notice. Maybe not everyone will experience it, but that is something I did see. Uh, the passing, he's got 95 vision, 85 short pass, and 85 long pass, which is really good, especially considering he is a you know hold-up player and he's going to have to link the play together. So he's able to do so. Um, technically speaking, he's got the 91 ball control, 92 dribbling, which is good, 4 star skills as well, but I feel like he didn't really offer much for me at least uh, on the ball. I feel like uh, it was really easy to close him down, so it's it's kind of just a player you're going to have to use uh, off the ball. Um, 81 agility, 73 balance. Uh, he's very heavy, very stiff, uh, so that change of direction is going to be quite slow, um, and the movement in general is just not fluid at all. So. Um, that is something uh, to bear in mind. And then the 81 reactions, which, uh, you know, might not really be um, a huge deal for most. But I feel like the responsiveness was quite low, you know, especially when pressed. Uh, he wasn't able to react uh, quickly uh, in time. So uh, I found that quite frustrating and I kind of was forced uh, to just kind of play off of him. Um, and then physically, 97 strength, 88 aggression, which is great. Obviously, he's going to feel powerful in game. And then the 87 jumping, 87 heading accuracy. So he's going to be a good aerial threat. Uh, not, you know, a dominant uh, aerial threat, but he will be able to cause problems in the air. So uh, it is a, f you know, a decent card. It's a fun card, but it's not going to be a f great card in those high elo games. But uh, yeah, it's it's a decent card. It's, it's someone, someone different. So yeah, that's going to be my review, of course. Please like, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next. And thank you for watching.